Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? No, <laughs> there's no progress at all. I've been trying to convince this man, but he's not budging. Not yet. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Thank you, Commander. So, I decide to go to the markets because we have a dealer that we need to meet. Question is, how is this exchange going to work? Because we're all concerned about Jenna, since her sister is scared of her safety, I'm scared of her safety, but apparently the detective is not scared of her safety, so... Let's see what we can do to actually change her situation. Where's this dealer at? Where he at? Is it you? So you're the dealers, huh? <laughs> That's close enough, Army. Army? You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. First of all... First of all, why are you so aggressive? Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Yes, we got the goods. You know, I was very tempted to arrest these punks, but then it would definitely ruin the whole mission entirely, and Jenna would have been in trouble, so no thanks. I'm back. I got the shipment. Tell her to stop with Come the assignment. In. I hear you have something for me. Wait, what? Here's your shipment, Chelik. Chelik. That's how you say his name. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. And you've earned some payment for your work. Thank you. As for Jenna, I'll make mm -hmm. sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Thank now you. I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Wow, two hundred and fifty dollars. That that is one hell of a payment there. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. C-Sec seems more like a military operation than a police force. Yeah, you get that vibe too, right? When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Three hours? Treating you like some sort of a criminal? I am so sorry, girl. That is wild. Captain, my captain, do I have news Come for on. you? Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Yes, I gotta see this. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. And this what? Say something. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. What?! Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crime. Okay, irrefutable in a good way. Voice, the one speaking with Saren. Who? Matriarch Venezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. 
I Sam am. Sam wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Yeah, buddy, it's listen different. to me. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Come on, man! Listen a to us! Cannot track down one man. Oh, great. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. I'm a woman of solutions. No, what? Too soon. Come on, Humanity man. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Give me a chance, bro. Give me a chance. Come on. What do you have to lose? Thank you. Finally. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh, snap. Am I getting my promotion already? And there's a crowd just watching me, too. I mean, I don't mind getting recognition, but I don't like too much it attention. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Wow, I got my promotion. Captain. Congratulations, Commander. Thank You've you so much. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Okay. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I know exactly where he is, too. I saw him last episode. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Thank you, Ashley. Ooh, Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Oh, I am so happy. Girls, we're going to celebrate this later, but right now, we got some stuff to do. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. So we're all nervous, too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain How big? Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship what? is yours now. Captain, why? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. 
The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. Please. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Wow, that's why he's stepping down. Because he was... So, oh man. I feel so bad for him. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Wow, that's why they're exist, doubtful. The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. This is gonna be so your weird. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Captain! Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly. Yes. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Yeah, but Captain, you can always come with me to the ship. Help me find him. You don't have to step down and force yourself to retire. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Wow, so I'm walking into a ghost city. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay, that's an interesting lead to go to. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. How trouble? It always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Oh, uh, I'm familiar Once with that. that. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. A planet full of illegal research sounds like another another um, case of Outer Worlds. Love the game, too. Let me see. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. Yes. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. Tell me! We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, 
there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. Wow. The whole place was on fire. Damn. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Wow, that's insane. There was insane. a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Wow! You... How... No wonder you're feeling some type of way about all this. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? Yeah. In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. Good. I blame Saren. Good. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? Good I had point. a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Bye, Captain. I appreciate it. Huh. What? What happened, Ashley? This is quite the view, Commander. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. I know, I hate Swatch that too. Back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Yes! Well, yes! So, Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. I love this inspirational yes, speech. Let's go. Si se puede. Wait, what's this? Look outside. Oh, that's cute. All right, gang. We're on to the biggest mission of our lives. And I guess it's my turn to pick where we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Hold on. How far can I zoom out? Yo, this is crazy. Oh, I can't zoom out that much. Okay, okay. Give me a chance here. It's my first time working this map. Come on. Okay. Wow, we're in a nice little galaxy. Nice. Okay, so... First things first. Horse head nebula. Huh. Interesting. Wow, this is beautiful. I say we can go to... Let's go this one. What? There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Alright, let's go. Yep.
my first voyage as a captain. Captain Anderson, I'll make you proud. Is that a warp drive? Oh, I'm gonna get such a whiplash. Dude, I'm here already, right? Let's uh, go here. Ooh, okay. This is nice. Let's land. Wait, Noveria is a small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Noveria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Noveria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. I understand. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I know, right? Jerks. They are really hard asses. Uh, let's go. Got a lot of stuff to do. How do I leave this ship? Hold on. It's gonna be a minute before I'm able to leave this ship. Joker, let me talk to this kid first. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. Wait, I didn't you do any background check. As your pilot. Damn. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Joker, come Top down. Of my class in flight school, I earned that. Okay. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? No, I didn't. Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. Mm. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They okay, I see you, big boy. The sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. Edgelord. I'm a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Okay, he's very proud of his accomplishments, regardless of his obvious struggles. I need to know more about this Rolex Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an mm. extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. Damn. years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. 
Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Um, we already did by asking all of these wild-ass questions. <laughs> Yo, uh, if the ship has an HR, I would have been reported already. I have to go. Alright, see ya. But Joker, he... He's nice enough to deal with my... My stupid questions. Let's go. Okay, so my crew, you ready? Add. Add. And that's it. I can't add anything else, so... Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Lock. Ladies. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. You would hate New England then. Just like winter back home. And are you from New England, Ashley? We're actually here. Wow. What's this? Oh, he's just there. Already we got people wanting to talk to us. That's far enough. Dang. What? Listen, I'm not your enemy. Relax. I'm not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. But you have them. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. What? First of all, no. Back away. Nice and slow. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. Oh, are you kidding One, me? Two. Three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. Thank you. You're not taking away my gun. Confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Specter. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. It would be less confrontational if y'all weren't yourself. jerks about it. You behave yourself! Calling me a liar and stuff. And look, they dispersed. Like little kids. Get out of here. Oh, uh, and she's salty. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Anyways, let's go. Pissing me off trying to take away my, my weapons. I'm an American. I have the right to carry my weapons. Ooh. Okay. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone piss in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. <laughs> Look at her face! Asset. Look at her face! <laughs> She's like, ooh, feisty one. New arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And yes. Sorry, Matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's second in command. She's here? Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Did she say 15 research complex days ago? Why can't she be normal enough to say two weeks? Oof. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. What? You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. That's crazy. This is worse than Outer Worlds. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.